Right, so fashion in Ghana has evolved over the years and has slowly become one of the strongest industries in the country. We have moved from the era of belly button, trousers and puff sleeves to pencil trousers and sleeveless outfits. Let's just take a trip down memory lane and see how much fashion has evolved. <laughs> Fashion in Ghana dates back to the pre-colonial era and just as the people have evolved, fashion has also changed. On the streets of Accra in the 70s, one is likely to spot the most eligible bachelor in a pair of crimpling trousers. This matches with at least a 4-inch waistband or a 4-inch wide belt. Back in the 70s, it was big to be seen in that large afro hairdos, bushy moustaches and full beards were in vogue. Some stretched their hair with hot comb. A stylish Ghanaian woman back then would be seen in either a crimpling flower pattern dress, crimpling mini skirt. Slowly, the mini skirts in the 60s became the midi skirt. In the 80s, Maxi, a full-length gown with an elastic high waistline was necessary for every formal high society evening parties. It was safe to describe the women of the 70s as chic with their high-heeled guarantee shoes and afro wigs. The then first lady, Faustina Champon, was its chief exponent. Unlike today, middle-aged women wore full-length jeremies for informal evening parties. The side attraction was the hairstyle. Braiding the hair with strands of black thread, a fashion trend from the 60s, still persisted. Then came the jelly curl, or wet look. This was a greasier, softer, curlier variation of the blown hair. Then came the decade of jeans. Labels like Farmers, Lee, Lee Cooper, Levis, and Wanglers were trendy. In the 90s, people dressed to express their personalities. Young boys were inspired by the fashion senses of American rappers, while R&B singers inspired the female and has continued to high-level fashion trends. Mm -hmm. 